Hello everybody and welcome to Stabilize. Today we're going to look at the Pandaren Turtle Mounts. The Pandaren Turtle Mounts are the Pandaren Faction's mounts for basically everyone. Because the Pandarens are part of both Alliance and Horde, their vendors sell exactly the same mounts for exactly the same costs, and there's quite a lot of them. In fact, I think there's about 15 turtles, which is extremely high for a vendor in and of itself. If you want to be able to purchase them, all you have to do is get exalted with your Pandaren faction, be it Huojin or the other one whose name I've forgotten. After getting exalted with one of these, which you can only do through using the Tabard, because they literally don't have any daily quests you can do unless you are a panda, then you can get these mounts. Alternatively, you could just be a panda, get to level 40, and buy them. But if you're a panda, well, I don't know if you have the best necessary taste in characters per se, but that's my personal opinion. The turtles are actually a really cool idea for a mount. I'm actually a big fan of the turtles in general, because it's a really nice idea. Like, the Pandarans live on the back of a giant turtle, so they use turtles as mounts. And for the most part, the turtle mounts look pretty cool. The great ones have variations in, like, the things they have on them, but they're not any bigger or really anything like that. Whereas the regular ones are just unadorned, which means the regular ones are very nice and simple, whereas the non-regular ones look a lot more fancy and a bit more prepared. A bit, a very traditional sort of Pandaren, but in a nice way. Not a sort of confrontational, I'm incredibly fluffy and pandering to the Asian market way, but in a sort of, you know, I'm a pretty cool sort of looking mount way. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. And it's personally the sort of thing that I'm a big fan of. While some would say that the turtles are too easy to get, and some people would say that there's too many of them, I would say that because there's so many of them, it's actually incredibly useful for the mount collector. Remember, 15 mounts from a single vendor. 15 mounts from a single vendor. That's literally incredible. If you are a mount collector, you want to get these. Plus, all you have to do is get one faction to max reputation, which can literally just be done by putting your tabard on and running Stormwind Stockade or the Blooming Deadmines or Ragefire Chasm again and again and again and again and again and again with the tabard on, kill everything, go out, reset, go back in. You could probably do it in an hour or two, considering you'll probably be level 100 when you're trying to do this in the first place. You could get exalted very, very quickly. In fact, that's probably the best way to do it. Once you've got all of those exotic reputations with the Pandaren, go back, buy the turtles, congratulations. You now have a small army of mounts. With one single vendor, you become very close to 50 mounts already, which is incredible to think about. Also, the turtles have the absolute cutest special animation in the entire world. They just plop back into their shells. It's adorable. Like, I know, you know, it's a bit weird to say adorable, but fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. They're adorable, okay? They look adorable. They're fantastic. It's actually wonderful. I love the turtle mounts, they're brilliant. In fact, I prefer the other turtle mounts, but these ones look pretty cool too. They look a bit more like sort of snappy and bitey, and they're just generally cool, okay? You should probably get these. If you like mounts, you should get these. If you don't like mounts, then I don't know what the hell you're doing watching this. But if you like the mounts, get them. They're pretty easy to get. They're pretty easy to get the rep for. They're pretty cheap as well. There's a lot of them. It literally ticks every single box in the guide to mount collection. Because, literally... You want cheap, easy to get mounts, and a lot of them. And that's literally the Pandaren mounts. If they gave everything away in, in World of Warcraft as easily as they did these Pandaren mounts, <laughs> World of Warcraft then would be truly a casual experience for everyone. 